New at 6, a zip line mistake sends a Bay Area boy plunging tonight. Eight on your side has exclusively obtained the 911 calls. And for the first time, we're hearing the panic in that little boy's voice as he waits for help. Investigative reporter Masa Saidi is here with the latest on the story. You've been staying on top of this, and those 911 calls hard to listen to. Yeah, guys, your heart just breaks for this child. His mom tells me that he had gone to the park in the past and loved it, but that day was was different. It's the morning of September 1st. Oh my God. And there's been an accident. Are you okay? Are you okay? A 10 year old slipped out of his harness and hit the floor. Okay, it looks like he was on the ride and he fell off of the uh, this guy right here. A man from inside Urban Air in Lakeland calls 911. I'm with him right now. He's feeling pain in his lower back. Don't, don't move. Okay. Tell him not to move. Yelling and crying can be heard as a man tries to comfort the child. The 10 year old thinks he might be paralyzed. Well, no, you're wiggling, so you're not paralyzed because you're wiggling, okay? So stay calm. Take a breath from you. The calm employee telling dispatch there's no blood. Critical instructions as they wait for paramedics. Do not move him unless he is in danger and do not splint any injuries. Reassure him okay. that help is on the way. Tonight, the child is back at home after suffering serious injuries in the fall. As the lawsuit is filed, Urban Air tells Aid on Your Side, quote, safety is at the heart of everything we do. They continue stating, quote, appropriate measures have been taken. And we want to be clear, great news, that child was not paralyzed. Now, according to state law, the maximum fine you can get for a violation is $2,500. And that is what Urban Air is facing tonight from the Department of Agriculture. You know, we, we're talking about Urban Air, but I mean, when you, you took a look at uh, a broader scope here. I mean, you check with the state. They, they look into other incidents as well. Yeah, there's been a ton of incidents. More than 160 times this year, someone has been at an amusement park or a carnival, and they were sent to the hospital for an injury and guys that number as we were explaining at five does not include incidents at big parks like Disney they have their own inspectors mm -hmm. and we did request that information from the big parks as well all right thank you and if you have a problem you would like Masa to investigate call our eight on your side helpline 1-800-338-0808